Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, um, I am going to be sharing with you, um, I guess it's kind of like a haul of like makeup and skincare products. So basically, not like a bag or anything, usually I like to kind of show you. Um, some of these items I believe were purchased at Sephora, some are drugstore or other types of products. So basically, um, I went on holiday recently and this is everything that I brought with me on holiday. Um, I purchased all new products and I don't know why I do that because I kind of like to test out new products when, when I'm on vacation, but at the same time, it's not so great because um, it's not great because basically if a product sucks, then I'm kind of stuck with it. But these are some of the products I picked up. Um, this one was a Sephora purchase. This one is like a higher end, but not at Sephora. I don't think they carry or Elizabeth Arden at Sephora, but anyways, um, let's just jump right into it. So basically everything I brought fits into this makeup case. In case you're wondering, this is from Victoria's Secret. It looks like this. I did get this as a gift. Um, it came in like, I think a set of three. I love the Victoria's Secret cosmetics bags. I Every time there's like a sale, like semi-annual, I always purchase their cosmetic bags. I always find them to be the best. Even if I'm like gifted, ones like with gift with purchase, I always end up purchasing the Victoria's Secret um, cosmetic bags. I just really love them. So anyways, everything fits in here nicely. Everything was brand new at the time um, that I brought it on vacation. And so now I can give you a kind of fair review um, since I got a chance to try it all out. Um, I did not save the packaging for anything. Um, I did bring the packaging with me, hoping to film it, but you know, with two children, it was just impossible to find time to sit down and film a video of all um, the new purchases I made for the trip. But regardless, let's just jump right into it. So I'll just pull random things and just kind of share with you. Um, let's do skincare first. I pretty much like have two basic things I brought. This cleanser, and this um, moisturizer, both amazing, both highly recommend. This one especially, I cannot say enough good things. This is from Elizabeth Grant. This is the third product I've purchased from Elizabeth Grant. I talked about Elizabeth Grant, I think on my last holiday vacation as well. I picked up a mask um, from Elizabeth Grant, amazing. And actually I will say, I don't think I ever talked about this on my channel, but one of the first products when I really got into skincare was from Elizabeth Grant. It was a serum that I found at like a Marshalls or Winners or something like that. And just as a side note with Elizabeth Grant, I believe Elizabeth Grant is Canadian. It's supposed to be like a higher end product. However, I don't know the only places I've ever seen it as at like Winners, um, like home shopping network qvc things like that i know my mother-in-law uses elizabeth grant as well she loves it and she always gets it at like warehouse sales so keep an eye out if you're at any of those types of retail locations because um i feel like not enough people talk about this range and honestly it's so amazing so like when i first got into skincare like maybe like 10 years ago when I really started getting into it seriously and started using like all these serums and stuff. One of the first serums I tried was from Elizabeth Grant because I found it at a pretty decent price at Marshall's and um, it seemed like its claims were exactly what I was kind of looking for in a product. And now I feel like I always get the stories maybe mixed up between Elizabeth Grant and Elizabeth Arden, but I believe the backstory between behind Elizabeth Grant is that she was involved in some sort of a fire or something like that. And then that's how she got into skincare. I'm not sure, correct me if you know, um, or I'll try to research it more and then get back to you in another video. But basically, when I first started using Elizabeth Grant's serum, I got so many compliments on my skin and I knew it was directly as a result of that serum. Um, so I've never found that serum again and I can't remember the name of it, but it is one of the, I went through that product so quickly and like it it just did so such amazing things to my skincare that it really made me take skincare very seriously after that. And like I said, I really enjoyed the mask that I pick up, picked up on my last holiday. So when I was at Marshalls and I got this for $6, I think that's insane considering 
This is such a good cleanser. So this is the Super Cell Vitality Cleansing Mousse. If you see this anywhere, pick it up. This is such a good cleanser. It is, I don't know, it just a little goes a long way. So I would apply this. And the thing is, it it's, I guess, because it's a cleansing mousse, it's this like moussey texture. It just, it cleanses your skin. It makes your skin feel really great. Just applying it, the scent, um, it's not highly scent, heavily, heavily, heavily scented, but it was just a very luxurious experience applying it and it just felt really, really good. Now I know right now as I'm, I'm looking into the camera, my skin is looking so parched. After I fly, like when I was on vacation, it wasn't too bad. I don't think I was in the sun, like I really took uh, care of my skin while I was on vacation because I didn't want it to be as a result of the sun exposure but I can tell you it's for sure because of um the plane like I don't know if anyone else is like this I'm so sensitive to air travel like it affects my skin and my physical um like being in every way like I always get sick my skin just looks terrible like everything, my immune system, my digestive system, it's all really affected by air travel. And I used to travel a lot more frequently, but I guess I just forgot because, you know, we're not traveling as frequently anymore. But um, yeah, so that's, <laughs> I know I'm going on such a rant. I'm sorry if this video is going to be long. I have my uh, drink here as well. So grab one as well if you need to hit pause before we go on. This might, video might be long. I'm just in a chatty mood, I guess. Anyways, that's what I have to say about the Elizabeth Grant. Moving on. Um, now this product, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel before. This is from Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. This, as you can see, is a mini size, a pretty good, decent size, I think 15 milliliters. I believe I got this with either points or gift with purchase um, from Sephora. Threw it into my makeup bag and no complaints this is amazing because it's really i i would highly recommend this for any season because it is very hydrating so you can definitely use it in the winter if you've dry skin like myself it's got this lightweight gel texture so it's great in the summer as well and then same thing when you're on holiday i feel like it's like the perfect moisturizer because it's lightweight gel but it's very hydrating and when you've been in the sun or anything like that or traveling on an airplane this is really really great so i highly recommend that okay moving on to actual makeup i know i didn't really bring a lot of skincare this time so this is what i have now everything is without packaging except for one product and that is because it shattered <laughs> while um we were traveling so this is urban decay however i did pick this up at either winners or marshall's i got this for 15 dollars. this is the disco queen holographic highlight I have a lot of holographic highlighters in my collection and I feel like they're not very trendy anymore but on holiday I feel like they look really great and I was really happy even though this shattered I don't even know if I should open and show you maybe I will yeah okay it's still kind of I don't know if you can see the inside of the box it's all powdered I'm not going to I will still make good use of this because it is powder it just needs to you know stay in its contents in its packaging so it's it applies kind of maybe even better shattered but um yeah, so if you see this at a local Marshalls or Winners, pick it up. I really like it. And if you don't find that it applies so well, maybe try shattering it because it applied really well um, shattered. Okay. <laughs> oh, see, and it's all over my makeup bag right now. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, and I just got it. Okay. I need to secure this somewhere where it's not going to spread um, highlight dust everywhere. Okay. So that was that. I'm just going to grab things. Um... Oh, actually, one thing that's sort of in its packaging is this, because I believe this was a refill container. This is from Estee Lauder. I did this, I think, with my last eyebrow product that I brought um, with me on vacation as well. Um, and it was I just got the refill for the eyebrow. And same thing with this. This is the refill for the Estee Lauder um, all-in-one brow kit. Um, I got this in 03 Dark Brunette. And I just got it in the refill because it's so much cheaper. And honestly, it's like the same things. Like, it's the same size and you save so much more money just don't get a fancy compact which i don't really care about so i just did keep it in its little plastic container 
There's that also very good product. Highly recommend that. Um, do we want to do good products or bad products first? I don't even know. Okay, whatever. We'll just, what, whatever I pick up. This was really good. This was, I also picked this up at um, Marshalls or Winners. This was only $8. This is from Profusion. This is the Classics palette and you get 10 huge pans. And um, especially the shimmer shades, they were just so creamy and buttery. Um, the matte shades were a little, like they kicked off a bit of the, um, like they like, not fallout, but it had quite a bit of kickoff. Is that the right term? I don't know. But otherwise they were fine, but the shimmer shades were really, really nice. So I really like that. Okay, what else do I have in here? Um, this is from e.l.f. I've heard really good things about this. This is a blemish control face primer. I thought this would be good for a holiday just to kind of maybe control the oils. Um, and it was green, so I thought it would help with redness. I mean, it was okay. Um, I don't know if it really helped with my makeup and its staying power, but it definitely was not like a fail, I don't think. So this was good. Okay. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, so for foundation, um, I think as I showed you in the beginning of the video, uh, this is very luxe packaging. I picked this up because I believe this is a SPF foundation. So this is from Elizabeth Arden. I did get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. I think you can get it at Ulta and other types of drugstores that have higher end makeup. Um, Sephora does not carry it. This is the Flawless Finish Perfectly Satin 24 Hour Foundation. This was really good. Um, and I got this in cream nude, the shade, and this was really, really good. I have no complaints about that either. Um, okay. And, oh, um, the, I also showed you this at the beginning. This is from Smashbox. This is a photo finish centering citrus primer water. This was also really good. I really liked this, the scent of this, and I really found this to be refreshing. So you could use, I, this is a primer as a setting spray, um, as a refreshing spray. I did all those things and I really enjoyed that as well. Okay. Um, then the concealer I brought, and I also used this as an eye primer, was from Shiseido. This is the Natural Finish um, Cream Concealer. I've talked about this product before. I got it in another shade. Um, and then I tested out this shade, which was 2B Light Medium Beige. And this was also very, very good. And I enjoyed it. Um, no complaints about that one. Um, okay. Oh, something I have on today, which I kind of use. This is something I've been getting into. This is from Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is in their Brights collection. I got this. I believe this is in Cobalt Blue. And um, I'm really into wearing like colored eyeliners when you want a quick like eyeliner look without doing any like eyeshadow or anything, but you just want to pop a color. Um, that's what I have on today. So I did enjoy that. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, okay, let's talk about a product that I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, I picked this up from Smashbox as well. This is the LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Echo Park Pink. This comes with a brush sponge thing, which was terrible. I would not recommend that unless I'm using it wrong. I don't know if I have to dampen it or what. I didn't find it blended well. This is, I used it as a cream blush. I don't know if I should swatch it. Yeah, I can for you. And then... I mean, I don't know if it would be better as a lip color. I didn't try it as a lip color. I only worked it as a blush. I, you know, I don't know. I have to play around with this. I just didn't really enjoy it, to be honest, um, when I was on vacation. So, I don't know. Leave your thoughts if you if you like this product and, and tips I can um, use to maybe make it work. Stop for a drink break. Okay, um... Let's talk about, okay, uh, while we're talking about disappointments, I also picked this up from Pupa Milano. This is the Extreme Gold um, Sparkling All Over Sparkling Effect Gel Face and Body. I picked this up because I thought it would be fun to wear as a liquid highlighter, but then also I could use it like on my body. And to be honest, I never got to use it on my body. I did try to use it as a liquid highlighter. I used it at the time to do like a cream kind of look with these two um, and it didn't really work. So I might have to play around with these two, but um, so far a little bit of a disappointment. But if you have tips and tricks for me, definitely comment down below. 
Uh, okay, so some of this. Okay, I have two products that I had high hopes for that they weren't like total flops, but they weren't, they didn't live up to the hype for me. And they were very expensive products. So I was really hoping, especially this one. So this is, I think I showed it before, but I never used it. Um, and I, this is from Guerlain. This is the Terracotta Light um, Sheer Bronzing Powder. And I'll show you. I mean, the packaging is very like luxe and all that. And I can kind of, I'll swatch it out for you. But um, like it was a little bit of a disappointment to be honest for how much money I spent on this bronzer. Again, if you have tips and tricks, I'll definitely try to make it work. I mean, I have it here. And then same with this. So this was actually my birthday reward. Um, I think last, this year, last year, I don't even know when this came out because it was earlier on. Um, this is from Laurie Mercier. I, this one was good, but then I also have the sticks. I have a few of these caviar eye color sticks. This was good. This, okay, so this is the translucent powder, the world famous translucent powder. Maybe because there's so much hype around it. And now they make really good setting translucent powders, loose ones. And I have so many. It was okay, but it wasn't like life changing, game changing. Like I wouldn't say like, oh, this is my favorite one. This one by far blows all the other ones out of the water. By far, no, like it was okay. You know, so if you have comments about that, let me know. But that was the Laura Mercier setting pen. This is a pretty good size. I, I don't know, I, maybe, do I have small hands? It looks bigger in my hand anyways. Okay, and then last but not least, is that it? Yeah, on to lip products. So I picked up six uh, of these liquid lipsticks from Lime Crime just because they um, they sell them at Urban Outfitters, but also at Garage here in Canada. And these were on sale. I think they were like 50% off. So I picked up six of them because I thought these would be fun shades to wear on vacation. And I was a little skeptical because of the, sh look at the shades. <laughs> but um, honestly, these were really, really good. So I totally get like, they used to have a lot of hype, I don't know, like five years ago or something. Um, and I, I was just late to the game, but I tried these on and every day I wore a different shade and these were, these are good performers. They, they worked really well. Um, so I was really impressed with these. So if you find these on sale, such as I did at any location, retail location, pick these up, especially if they're in shades you like for everyday wear. Um, my favorite was, I mean, the one that I could get the most, uh, wear out of is this faded. It's a nice color, but these are fun. These are nice like fall winter colors. Um, I believe I got Shroom, no, sorry, Wicked and Salem. And then these three are kind of like fun colors. Um, I got Pansy, Utopia and Rave, but honestly, they're not as crazy as they might look. Um, so yeah, so that is what I picked up for my vacation, uh, what worked, what didn't. If you have used any of these products, definitely comment down below um yeah and that's all i have for you today so thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next video stay safe everyone